In this problem, we have an infinite sum, and we're being asked to determine if it converges or diverges. So this is an alternating series because it has a negative 1 to the uh, n plus 1. So we can use what's called the alternating series test. So to use the alternating series test, the first thing you have to do is identify your a sub n. So in the alternating series test, a sub n is always the non-alternating part. So let me rewrite this so you can see exactly what I mean. So I'm going to write it like this so you can see exactly what the non-alternating part is. So see this. This is the non-alternating part. So that's your a sub n. Okay, good stuff. So first thing you do is that you identify the piece that is not alternating. The second step uh, is you just go through the motions. There's two steps. The first step is you take the limit as n goes to infinity of the non-alternating part. So in this case, when you take this limit, you get zero. So that condition checks. The second step is to just verify that a sub n is what's called non-increasing. In other words, it's decreasing or staying the same. So if you set a sub n equal to 1 over m plus 7, you'll see that as n gets big, the fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's not like getting bigger and smaller, but it's just only getting smaller. Okay, So you can just say it is non-increasing. Again, non-increasing means decreasing or staying the same. You could show that it's actually decreasing uh, by taking the derivative. Now, you don't have to. Um, if you're doing this for a class, I guess it would depend on like, you know, what the teacher wants. But um, you can usually just look at it. So what you would do, if you, if you wanted to show it, is you would write, write it like this. Right, write it as a function of x. And then take the derivative of this thing. So to differentiate this, um, because we have a number up top, what you can do is you can think of it like this with a 1 and then bring it up. So x plus 7 to the negative 1. All right, now you would take the derivative, so f prime of x. So you bring the negative 1 down, so you would get x plus 7. Subtract 1, so you get negative 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is 1. So this is negative 1 over x plus 7 squared. And you can see this is always less than 0 because the bottom is positive. So this is negative, so it's decreasing. So that just shows that it's that this is also decreasing. In other words, it's not increasing. Remember, not increasing means decreasing or staying the same. So typically, you know, again, I usually don't require people to go through this when I teach calculus, but some people do. So like, you know, just just keep an eye out for that. So uh, I usually just state it and I'm happy with that. It's a lot of work. And usually this condition is always satisfied most of the time. All right, so we have those two conditions. And then, so that's it. So because both are satisfied, you say so converges by the alternating series test. Alternating series test. You could abbreviate it. You could write it as AST. That would, that would also work. So recap, the first thing you do when you have an alternating series and you're trying to use the alternating series test is you want to at least mentally think of it like this. You don't have to rewrite it, but at least mentally think of it that way so that you can identify your a sub n. It's always the non-alternating part. The next step is to just go through the motions, right? So step one, just take the limit. If it's equal to zero, you're good. Then the second step, just verify that things are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I usually just say it, and that's enough. If both conditions are satisfied, you say it converges by the alternating series test. So what would happen if one of the conditions is not satisfied? Well, then the test fails, right? You can never say something like, oh, diverges by the alternating series test. That's impossible. The alternating series test can only show convergence. A very, very common mistake people will make is they'll say diverges by the alternating series test. That is 100% wrong. Um, so super, super key. Uh, if the first condition fails, so if this fails, then you want to go back and use the nth term test. So that comes up uh, sometimes, and you'll see that in the videos that follow. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.